morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday yesterday. Today is Friday, January 31st, 2020. It's back to day one. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. It's a great way to get ourselves settled and ready for the school day. It allows us an invitation to just let go of the past that has already happened. There's nothing we can do about it. And I know sometimes good things and bad things tend to weigh on us. Let it go for just a moment. And then also, it's an invitation for us to let go of the future. I know there's a lot of things that are that could happen. It's never promised, but it could happen in the future that our minds are locked into. Let go of that as well. For, for just now, focus on the here and the now. That's what the Mindful Minute is. That's all it is. Just an invitation to practice an exercise to pay attention to right here, right now. Where you are, noticing your body, noticing the environment in which you are, and just really savoring it. Just noticing the blessings of the here and the now. Okay, so you know that there's been a number of techniques we've taught. Uh, some of you guys have taught me some new ones. I'm looking forward to you sharing even more. And if I like it, I will share it on video. Um, but choose an uh, choose a technique or exercise that works for you. Um, I like to close my eyes. You don't have to, but it all has to start with just noticing ourselves. Okay, so let's just notice our body right now. Notice how earth is pulling us down with gravity, creating something we call weight. And then notice your weight. Notice how, not to make you feel bad, just simply noticing your weight. Noticing how heavy you are, Noticing how the earth is pulling you closer to it. And then all of a sudden, there is a surface that is holding us up. For me, it's this couch. The floor for my feet. It's something else for you. If you're sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor, well, there you are. It's the floor. Now, in this moment, take that first breath in through your nose. Filling your belly with air, expanding it like a balloon, and then slowly, even slower, letting it out through your mouth. Now, that was great with that first breath, those of you guys who are joining me. Let's take another breath in through our nose, really slowly, knowing fully that you're breathing in. And then as you let go, out through your mouth, allow your shoulders to sink. Allow your body to melt into that surface holding you up. In and out. Now expand your awareness of what is around you. Notice, for instance, the first sounds, the most obvious sounds coming through your ears. And listen even closer and notice the quietest sounds that you have to work hard to notice. I'll give you a minute. Now notice too also your sense of smell. What do you sense with your nose immediately, right now, right here? What do you have to really work hard to notice with your nose? And same thing with your sense of touch, your skin. And notice as much. We don't often take it. And, oh, well, we often take it for granted, but notice how your clothing rubs against your body or the air, cold or warm, brushing against your skin. Just notice what is obviously creating that sense of touch. And what is it that you have to work hard to notice? Always remember to anchor yourself in your breath, in and out. Now turn your spotlight inwards to your body, scanning through from your toes all the way up to your head, noticing every bit and part of your body, even the parts of the body that you don't often think about. Expanding from your toes to your feet and to your ankles and up your legs, every part of it, to your hips and your belly as it breathes in and expands. 
deflates as you exhale out. Your lower back, notice that. The parts of your body that feel great, be grateful. And the parts that feel tired or sore or hurting, be kind and just acknowledge that it too exists. Notice your arms and your shoulders and your, the palms of your hand, your fingers. Going back up to the center of your body, to your chest and your neck and your face and your head. And then finally, take into account the emotions you're bringing to school. What do you bring? Nervousness, maybe? Anger? Maybe frustration? Something happened at home or right, right here at school? Maybe you're enthusiastic and anxious about something in the future. Now, remember, we're paying attention to the net here and the now, so let go of all of the reasons from the past and the future that are creating these emotions. Just notice those emotions. That's it. And sit with them. Invite them in, actually. Even the uncomfortable emotions. Be kind and let it come in as if it were a friend and sit with it. In a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Whether you have a great day or not is ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and yeah, enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you once again for joining me in the Mindful Minute. I hope this has helped you, if it works for you, to get yourself settled and ready for the day. It's one of our three Bs. The other uh, two Bs are, number one, be respectful for yourself as well as for others. And also to be responsible with yourself, your body, the parts of your bodies, your hands and your feet, even the words that come out of your mouth. Being responsible for yourself as well as being responsible for others and taking care of them and looking out for them. Today is January 31st, 2020. It's the last day of January and it's the last day of the January in 2020. So you can live forever, but you'll never have this day back again. So I want to invite you, as I always do, to make today count Let's truly make it count. Be present and be a part of today, making it a wonderful day, not just for yourself, but also for others. Be kind and be thoughtful and, and do it not just here in class, do it outside in the hallways, in the cafeteria, even as we work at being at a level one, even on the bus, yeah, even, even at home. All right. I can't wait to see you guys around. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday.